What are you doing right now? What book are you writing right now? What thoughts are you thinking right now? So when your opportunity comes later on today or tomorrow, next week, next month, or next year, you ready to attack. Hey yo, don't compare the book that you're currently writing right now to the book that somebody else has already written. Don't compare your chapter 2 to somebody else's chapter 10. We don't know what that person has been through to actually get there. We don't know what fights, what storms, or what struggles somebody actually seen and experienced before they actually got to that point. It's Lamar Howard, aka Tank, aka The Knowledge Bank. I'm ready to give you what you need to stay motivated to succeed. And this is Attitude is Everything presents Motivation Monday. Today for Motivation Monday, I'm talking about the living legend. Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is a football player for the Detroit Lions. You probably already know him. Number 20. This guy, when he retired, he ran for over 15,000 yards, second on the all-time rushing list, arguably the greatest football player of all time. To me, he's definitely my favorite football player of all time. So when it comes to Barry, though, despite all the accolades that he has, right, despite all the Pro Bowls and the 1,000-yard seasons that he has, despite the Hall of Fame accolade that he has, he started from somewhere, right? And let me tell you where Barry started from. Barry started back in North Wichita, going to North Wichita High School. And when he went to North Wichita High School, when he first started playing football as a freshman, sophomore, and junior, he never was a starter. Actually, he didn't start on his high school. Um, he didn't start on his high school football team until the fourth game in. After the fourth game, he finally started to start on his high school on his high school football team at running back. And this dude ran for over 1,400 yards. He worked for 1,400 yards in just a few games, probably like seven of them, okay? He was still not recruited to go to a lot of colleges, but Barry Sanders ended up going to Oklahoma State University. Now, this kid, he waited for his opportunity. He was ready. When his opportunity came, boom, he took off, all right? Wasn't a starter, but as soon as he got in, boom, he made sure he did what he needed to do. Is that you? Right now, you may not be exactly where you want to be, right? But are you practicing? Are you getting ready so you won't have to are you are you staying ready actually are you staying ready so you won't have to get ready okay and that's what barry did now let me tell you what happened when barry sanders went to college when barry sanders went to college there was already an all-american also a hall of fame running back going to oklahoma state that he was playing behind and that was thurman thomas all right barry sanders he went to college between 1986 and 1988 so he played in 1986 87 and 88 and in 86 he really didn't play at all he only had 325 rushing yards in 1987 he had 600 rushing yards but Barry ended up being becoming an All-American because he was very good at doing kick returns. Ended up getting seven or eight touchdowns doing kick returns in 1987. But that year, 1987, Thurman Thomas he got drafted to the NFL. So in 1988, rolled around. This was Barry's year. This was the time that he was working for. Okay, do you know this dude went from running from 300 yards, 300 something yards in 1986, his freshman year? to running for 600 and something yards his sophomore year to Barry Sanders junior year running for over 2,800 yards. That's 2,800 rushing yards within a football season. This guy, like I said, he didn't get ready. He stayed ready and he stayed ready to the point when it was time for his opportunity, he was ready to literally crush it to the point where he has arguably the best single season college football performance of all time. So right now, you, you waiting, you developing your intellectual property, you, you writing down your skills, you waiting for your shots. Are you doing what you need to do right now so when your opportunity comes, you can run for 2,800 yards? Are you doing what you need to do right now so when your opportunity comes, you can have consistent thousand yard seasons 10 years in a row and retire and become a Hall of Fame at something that you love? You see, you got to stay down right now. You got to continue to build the foundation. And you got to continue to work hard, all right? And you got to continue to think the right thoughts because you will put yourself in the right position just like Barry did. Barry wasn't a starter in high school and people probably looked down upon him and people probably talked stuff about him. But he continued to be consistent and persistent in his work and when he got his shot, it was over. Barry was not a starter in college. He only ran for 300 yards his first year, 600 yards his second year, okay? He could have quit. He could have started to not work as hard, but he kept in putting on the work. And when he continued to put in that work, what happened? Boom, 2,800 yards. Best single season work by a college football player ever. What are you doing right now? What book are you writing right now? What thoughts are you thinking right now? So when your opportunity comes 
later on today or tomorrow, next week, next month, or next year, you ready to attack. You ready to make it happen. You ready to change the life of not only yourself, but the family, but your family from the work that you are putting in today, right now. It's Lamar Howard, AKA, AKA The Knowledge Bank. I'm here to give you what you need to stay motivated to succeed. And for this Motivation Monday, I'm talking about Barry Sanders, a guy that is a Hall of Fame person, but he took the time out to continue to work diligently, consistently, and persistently, even when he didn't get his shot. So when he had his shot and opportunity, it was over. I hope you continue to have a great day, and I hope you take advantage of all the shots and opportunities that you are blessed with today. Continue to have a great day. Peace.